Right, welcome team. Um, public holiday here in New Zealand, plus we've been raining for like four days straight. My place is a mud bath. Um, half of Auckland and a few other places around New Zealand are in a bit of trouble. Um, but never mind them, doesn't bother you, you're over the other side of the world. Um, so we will get right into uh, our session, okay? Um, don't mind, yeah, I, the frame looks all right, but we're still trying to work out, I've got to try and work out perfect frame of where we where we fit. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that, we'll get to that at some point. Um, so today I just thought we would do um, the one thing we don't have up on screen. I was still deciding while I was doing it because I didn't even have a name for the session. Um, I was like, we want to do something that can just increase ourselves as we go through. So we, we have good, good intensity, um, good push, good rhythm. We have a break, break. Um, so we'll go here. Let's do our rest. We'll do our rest in a minute. That'll do. be perfect. Um, so basically, we just want, we're going to, the time's increasing. So we have to increase our focus as we go through. Um, hence the increased focus, I guess, the title for the, for the session. Um, we just want to start off nice, good rhythm at 20, good focus, good pressure. Okay, focus on your pressure and your intensity and your output. Um, and then obviously, if you look at it, it's two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, so that's the time. Um, the second and third one will be not too bad because we, we're just going to increase that rate. So we're going to we're going to find the good step up between like the obviously the twenty rating and then the twenty twenty and twenty two. Then we go twenty twenty two twenty four. So we start to get a little bit of pace on. Um, and then our third one, obviously, uh, sorry, our fourth one, we start getting up into that twenty four twenty six range. And then the last one is just a gradual increase all the way through, okay? And it'll be a good little punchy one at the end because by then, yeah, we'll be a little bit tired, have a bit of fatigue, uh, and then we can really push through that last one and go, righto, I want to see my step between the first, second, third, fourth, and the fifth um, segment of the piece, okay, the change. And I think that'll be, um, it'll be a really, really good little um, finishing set, okay? Okay. Um, you got to do this tomorrow, Chris. No worries. Um, awesome. No, everyone that's here, fantastic. We'll um, we're going to punch this out. We'll do a good job of it, um, and then obviously uh, everyone can evaluate and see how we're going. I'm just going to move the machine slightly forward. As I say, we're still still getting still getting right here on the right angles and the and the new setup. Refresh the board a little bit. We've got a sensei coloured lighting behind there. Don't you love that? Hey, eh? crikey. We're doing a great job. Okay, okay. Um, no more time to muck around. I saw my boy's been on here, and he put that up to 10. Holy, holy. Right out. Uh, we don't want that high, Zach. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's jump on. A um, couple of minutes. Get ourselves working. Get ourselves moving. Um, and then, yeah, and then from there... <clears throat> into the rhythm okay focusing take the first one give it a good nudge work our way through each set after that okay so woof let's get let's get relaxed and and warm oh no i might have to do some running with tears shortly i feel like my boy stuffed a uh, little bit of paper into the flywheel Jackie. That could be a bit noisy, but that's fine. We've got our got the noise cancelling headphones on, so we should be fine. Okay, so nice rhythm. Start here, just as we do, just stretch it out. Okay, getting into this nice relaxed rhythm. Patience. Feel these movements to start. Especially when we start our warm up, always remember to have this appreciation and this understanding of the recoil of the machine, 
the chain drawing us back forward, and then just get ourselves into a position where we're moving with that, okay? But we've got that control. So if we want to hold the rating back, we've got patience with these hands around the finish, and then we can glide with the machine. Okay? Nice. Just trying to check the old frame. Okay, so just squeeze it on a little bit as we get that length. A little bit further and further. Okay, nice. Really good. Good push. Good swing. Good patience. Okay, feeling that hang as we hang in, we initiate on those legs, and then the body starts to open out through the drive. Okay, good. Nice pressure. Nice rhythm. Okay, good flow. Let's just do about another five or so. Hopefully we've got enough stretch, ease of rhythm. Flexibility. Okay, two more. Easy, okay. Good, okay. Heart rate should be up. Getting a bit of puff on. Okay, it's, it's sort of Generally, we know that point, we're good to go, okay? So, before the old paper and the flywheel starts flapping around that my, my autistic son's chucked in there for a bit of shits and giggles, um, oh, here it is, I can see it too. That's going to be funny. Um, let's jump into it, okay? So, with this one, we're obviously going to jump onto a variable workout. So, select workout, new workout, intervals, variable, Okay? Interval one, we go time. And we take that set time up to two minutes. And then we go across and we set that rest time to one minute. <laughs> that's going to be so funny. Um, <laughs> if you could see it, there's this piece of paper that's just flying around in there. Um, I think it's a sticker he's pulled off something. So we set that rest time to one minute and we shouldn't have to change the rest time from this time onwards, okay? So we press the check box. Now it says interval two, we press time again. So just increase that time setting to four. Okay, press the checkbox. Time again, take that up to six. Press the checkbox. Okay, time again, we go up to eight. Press the checkbox. We go time again, and we take that up to 10 minutes. So you have to scroll back with the arrow and put a one in. And... Because I didn't, and it takes you to 20 seconds. So 10 minutes, flashing, one, good to go. Press the checkbox. Good. Should say interval six on the top, but we're not going to input interval six. So now we go no more intervals. And we should have two minutes on screen. Okay. So hopefully that's, uh, that's where we're seeing everybody. Um, yeah. Hopefully. I know intervals can be, especially sometimes, especially with the variable ones, just making them and setting them up uh, can be a little bit painstaking. Worst case scenario, leave it. I'll do the calling. You know it. Okay, here we go. So, first one, really easy. Two minutes at 20. Let's get our rhythm. Let's get our flow. Let's set a platform. 
for where we're going to go through with this workout as we as we take it right through. Okay, right. Are you ready? Attention. Row. Row the stick out. Okay, nice. So let's just start by getting onto this twenty rate. Nice smooth rhythm that we've got. Patience. Really start off by having this hang where we leave it nice and long with these arms right out there. Okay, good. Really engage the legs, the glutes while we're using these big muscles and the lats to hang the pressure as we push away. Okay, use that pressure. Feel that momentum. Okay, nice. Get that sequence. Push and swing, okay? Push and swing, use that, focus. Sit back through the stroke. Okay, nice pressure. Nice body movement. Okay, good. Feel that hang. Commit to the drive. Hold that body forward. Initiate. And then sit back. Feel that swing. Make a couple more. Good. Okay. Hopefully you can't hear the sticker flapping around in the flywheel. <laughs> He's a quirky little bugger, my boy. Okay, so. Good way to start. This one, very similar again as we get into it. Straight back onto that 20, the rhythm that we were just... Uh, doing there, <clears throat> get into the flow, get into the patience, roll with it, okay, continuous motion, we've got to find a way to make it feel like it's just flowing all the time, okay, and we're right into that front, we pick it up, we engage, and we roll again as we come into this recovery, okay, booming, two at 20, two at 22, right, Oh, there goes the sticker again. Okay, right, here we are. Patience. Good. Roll with it. Feel the feel that feel the feet as we roll forward. Feel the change in weight. Good. Engage the core through here as we pick up the speed and then sit back through that stroke. Okay, good. Nice long arms that hang. Remember our hang strength is key. Arms out nice and long. Good. The rhythm, the flow. Continuous motion. Really good. I feel that smoothness of the compression as we're rolling into this front here. 
feel the point of no return, okay? Feel the point of, of that absolute compression where we've rolled in, we've got our body position, we just can't get any much any further, okay? Move the hands now, free it up. Travel a little bit quicker forward. More acceleration on the drive. Okay, good. Is that rhythm there? Twenty two. Okay. Same technical focus from the twenty, but just feel that a little bit of extra speed. <coughs> extra speed, extra movement with the hands, rhythm. Good. One speed forward. Feel that change as we come straight in. Just a deceleration right at the front. Hands lead away. Help draw the body forward. Out over the knees. Good, good. Nice and flat, keeping the head nice and steady. Okay, good roll, very nice. Okay, and good patience too, as we roll. Keeping that focus, we talked about good pressure, good intensity, push through that line. Nice. Okay. Good. Okay, good rhythm on that one. Starting to remember when we free it up, we're still holding the same positioning. There's just more things happening a little bit quicker. Keep that focus on the ability to let this machine draw us back forward, okay? Let it do that work here so that we can prepare, take a moment, evaluate, come into the front, and then we use our energy to create that speed, okay? Here we go. So this one, just adding that 24 onto the end of it. Here we go. Now. Okay, back onto this 20 rhythm. Platform here gets set on this 20. This is where we refine the technique. We're not in a rush. We can feel what we're doing with our hands, with our momentum around the finish. We can feel that set up, the hands leading out over the knee. Rolling with that machine. Okay, good. That's our setup. Taking us back to that position at the front where we can connect and then increase our speed. Nice. Okay, remember that there's the acceleration through the drive. Using the muscle groups, legs and the body. 
through this. Full ball hanging. Under those armpits, down the lats. Okay, spread up. Now, 22. Okay, so we're just moving quicker. There's a little bit more acceleration on the leg. This is good. Really nice rhythm. Okay, keep that focus on that stability around the front. So we have that posture right there. Rolling in, not diving for any more or lifting. Okay, steady. Compress. Smooth change. Good. Good momentum. Good rhythm. Good flow. Hey, I like it. Nice. Hey, really good. Feel the feet. Feel that pressure build as we can press into that front. Right, bring it up. 24. This one. Now. Okay, so just moving a little bit quicker. We've got our pressure. Our intensity. Sustainable. Okay, find that rhythm. Find the numbers. And then tap it along, okay? The idea is to maintain our numbers. We don't want to start out with really fast numbers and then not sustain them. Good. Breathe, stay loose, hand speed, feel the rhythm around, around the turn, good, good flow, nice rhythm, we're moving with the speed of the machine, okay, we've got that flywheel moving, I'm going to ride the slide into the front. I'm going to smoothly pick it up. Use that body and leg compression. And then press away. Okay? Press away. Breathe. Okay, really good. Use that body. Nice momentum. Good. Right. That was real good. Right, she's getting hot and humid in here. Okay. Very good so far. <coughs> really good. Build through those first three sets. Now we've got a couple of longer ones. These ones are really about consistency, okay? Get the machine moving. 
pass it along. Okay, use what we've created. The idea in any rowing is to create speed, maintain, okay, protect what we create. Here we go. Third. Now. Okay, so onto that 20. We set that. We set the base here. Take a take a little bit to get it back down. Onto our speed. Manage our output. Good long arms. Nice effort. Good consistency, that's it. Nice. Okay. Remember, hands are never stopping. They don't stop. Keep them moving. Get that rhythm. Nice hand speed around. Okay, really good. This is our momentum. This is our rhythm. Listen to the flywheel. Hear the noise of the creation. And then we just hear it come down steady. Nice. Okay, feel those feet. Ready? Change. 22. Now. Good. Remember, all we're doing Moving quicker, hand speed quicker, recovery is quicker. Using the recoil of that chain, roll in, and press, push away. Good. Nice. Really good. And here it is. Once we get onto that rhythm and speed, even now, the focus is to tap it along. Tap it along. Good patience, hands, brush the body. Okay, we use that core stability there, right through the center, middle of the drive, to stop ourselves getting down here. Okay, use that stability of the swing, the handle nice and flat. Keep it on that plane, straight through, elbows. Remember, we're just brushing the body. We're not <clears throat> ripping it in. We're using a little bit of power to hold it, okay, up to now. Okay, we can go back to that finish. Yes, we are holding the power of the stroke. But the handle will come through. It'll brush the body. Good. There it is. Nice. Good rhythm.
Feel that handle, feel the hang. Right from there, at the front, roll around. Feel the hang pressure. Both hands, symmetrical. Down the middle of the machine. May sound a little bit silly, but sometimes we can feel like we've got a stronger side than the other. Okay, both. Okay, tap it along, get that flywheel spinning. Moving free. Trying to release the tension. Good. Nice rhythm. Good flow. Ready? Speed it up. Up to now. Twenty six. Get a little bit more acceleration. A bit quicker forward. Find our ratio. Natural compression, right into the front. There. Good. Elastic length. Without overreaching. Feel the speed of the recovery. So that changeover point. Yeah, good. Okay, hold steady. Feel the ratio. Try and relax on the recovery. Hands around. Hands draw us forward. Good. Nice. The rhythm. Good hang. Armpits. Nice. Not on the shoulders. Use the body through the middle. Okay, we're good. Okay, last piece. Down to the wire. Okay, it gets quite punchy, okay? Heating up, heart rate's going up, pressure's there. Really stay focused on our progression through the ratings in this last one okay take a little bit of time you'll be a bit fatigued especially down on this 20 okay don't worry too much about the split in the first part okay firming now okay focus on getting ourselves set platform to increase the workout, to increase the set. Patience, okay, feel that rhythm. Roll. Smooth. Good. Nice long arm, really good. Start off here, focusing on our form. The body connection, the positioning here. 
be able to take up and swing. Take up, increase through the middle. Nice. Really smooth, one pressure as we push. We've got to mold that body opening position so it doesn't feel like a push and then a go, okay? No two stage drive. One. One motion. In sequence, legs through the body. And the arms, we're hanging on. Now finish it off. Okay, they hold that pressure into the finish. We just release it before the body so we don't get stuck like that and lose our rhythm. The only reason why we don't try and hold that finish, we've got to roll it around. Okay, up 22. Now, so freedom. Good. Same focus, same idea. Hand speed, patience, rhythm. Good. Nice smooth movements. Really good. <clears throat> Here's a hang. Nice rhythm. Patience. that body. Opening out. Good. Feel the feet next to compression. Feel the change in weight on the feet from the draw, the pull, to being back onto the balls of the feet. Good. Nice motion. Okay, good. Okay, we're coming down. Next change. Here. What are we thinking about? Move freer. Now, hand speed. A little bit more zing on the leg. Freedom on the recovery. Acceleration on the drive. Good. Nice. Okay, really good. Be patient. Grab at the front. Momentary patience at the change of direction right there. We roll around. Good. Be pressed. Sit tall. Be proud. Heads up. Open the mouth. Five minutes. <clears throat> Good. Speed of the drive. Hey, breathe into it. Open the mouth. This is where we've got to stay focused. Keep those bad habits at bay. <clears throat> nice. Tap along. 
focus on their consistent rhythm. Good. Really nice. Good roll. Okay, two changeovers left. 26. Now, accelerate. Let's get it up to speed. And then we tap. Remember, tap. While we're moving. We've just got to get on top of it. Keep it speed going. Good. Good rhythm. Tap it along. Feel the body. That's it. Sit back with that body. Four. Feel the stability around the front. Smoothness. Okay, ratio. Roll around. Back into the front. One speed forward. Okay, shake it out. Stay loose. Okay, we've got one more change. Good. Holding steady, core stability. Remember, speed of movements. Here we go. Now, hand speed, leg speed. Nice. Okay, good, good roll. Hold this. Sit back into it. Use the body. Leg strike the body. Open the mouth. Relax the tension. Hang under the arms. Good. Real nice. Hands lead away. Brush around. Last minute, 28 strokes. And move around the front. Roll in. Compress. There it is. Good, last 20 strokes. <laughs> Tap. Hold the core. Good. Final run into the line. Okay, don't stop. <clears throat> Real good. Okay, great, great rhythm and speed. Okay, excellent progression. It's hot and sweaty in here, it is very, very humid. Here today,
Nice. Okay, great. Real good work, team. Real fantastic work. Because uh, I think it was a, a very good title for our session today. Just, um, just press your menu buttons. It should stop on us anyway, but the menu will reset it, take it back into our warm down, count the warm down on your log books and everything else. Uh, yeah, really, really good, good pieces to get that focus going. Uh, you know, I know we do, you know, it's a little bit, sh well, I should say shorter, but it's not particularly because it's still half an hour odd. Um, <clears throat> it's still a good way of working into that last piece, okay, and we, we talk about it all the time. About where you want to find and where you want to gain that that lock-in of your form of your technique you know make it ingrained into what you're doing and it's always these last couple of sets you know we build into it we use that work at the start we got like, yeah okay cool I'm focusing technique I'm, I'm getting rhythm yep yeah, yeah beauty and then once we get up into that last set it's all about us holding what we've made changes with what we're thinking about in terms of rhythm on that last final set to maintain or to limit the fade to stop the blow whatever it might be and that's what i think we did very very well today getting down to that last set it felt pretty easy to that last four minutes once we got up 26 28 i was like right i gotta focus here quite quite dramatically just to really hold what I'm trying to do with that form. But it worked very well, okay? Worked really, really well. Sweat's coming down the legs now. Don't know if we're going to see that in the old frame, but it was good, okay? Really good. Pat yourselves on the back. Uh, got through that session nicely. It's a good one. Starts off relatively controlled, focused, getting that smoothness in that first two, that four and that six minute piece. And then we start to ramp it up from there. So let's just start to breathe it in, stretch our stroke out a little bit longer, okay, for our warm down. There it is, nice. And we just roll through this motion, okay? We get the rhythm going. We get that sequencing correct, especially in the last part of this warm down. It's the same in a warm up. Okay, feel what's happening. Okay, feel this happen, you know, everything with this happen. Feel what we're doing with our bodies as we pivot, as we come off the back and we get that body movement forward, okay? It doesn't necessarily need to be stagey but we can just be like, maybe I do just, just a little bit longer, hold the body, hold the legs in that, in that straight position, but not locked out through here. So I can get my body moving forward just a little bit more. I feel like I need my body forward, whatever it is. Okay, use this time here in the warm down now while we're stretching out, then ourselves into a good position. Okay, let's do a couple more. Plenty of time. All right, one more. Boom. There's four odd minutes of warm down. Right, okay. So, team, great session. Okay, fantastic. Uh, really good. Punchy, uh, does the does the job. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm hot and sweaty. It's pretty steamy in here. I think I've insulated this room very very well. We'll have to have a window open next time. Um, great great focus. Okay, if you if you revisit this session at any time, which it's always there. <coughs> it's great as a benchmark. If you want to come back to it in a month or so, whatever. 
Uh, sessions like this are really, they're just designed around using the first part. It's all about this, okay? All about that. It's all about, oh, it's that stuff in the flywheel. Bloody hell. I hope they get go. Heard some crashing. Just a bit of plastic. Um, it, we work into it by everything that we do building up to it. And then we get to that last one and we're like, right, here it is. This is what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to get this done. Um, and you get that rhythm, you get that speed, you get that momentum, and you build through and we tap it along, we tap it along, tap it along. And you're probably paying attention. Well, I probably didn't say it at the time. Um, the splits that you start on and the splits that you finish on, you know, like um, – trying to think, 12, 15 for me maybe, 10, 12, 15, somewhere like that. Um, and, that's, and that's the sort of thing we look at is that like how much are we, how much are we getting from there to there? It's a, good, it's a good thing to think about, but at the same time, did you do it well? Did you feel like you did it well? Did you feel like you started lifting too much or ripping it into the body? Did, could you hold that acceleration? Um, and that's really the key and the crucial part about it. <clears throat> and if you're able to, great. If you weren't, that's even better, okay? Because we, now we know what we need to be working on. And that's the whole thing is know what you're doing well, what you can continue working on partially while you're rowing, and then keep working on these little things, okay? Find, find workouts back in the library that might adjust to what you're doing, you know? Is it the front turn, okay? Maybe we just need to do a little bit more lower rating stuff. Okay, is it, do you feel like once you start getting up and rate, you're finishing a little bit front, can't get the hands moving, whatever it is, okay, just use what's out there to really get that understanding while you're doing the trainings, okay? Uh, right, oh, there's a couple of big ones in there. Uh, <clears throat> nice one, my uh, kid putting a piece of paper in the flywheel. Yeah, there's a couple of stickers, I can see one right there. Um, he's pulled them off some of my shelving that I bought to put in the, in the place. And I don't know why he chucked it in there. Crazy. Um, Michael, did you focus on your splits or watts or both today? I never focus on watts until last session. Um, now I look at watts and splits in the force give when I'm running. Okay, to be to be completely honest, uh, I use 500 splits and I have the force curve on. And I have the force curve on religiously. Uh, it's just been a habit of mine um, for my entire better second part of my career. Only because I'm not. I I like. I love seeing it when it's per, when it's like a <clears throat> when it's like a hemisphere. I'm like, you beauty, shit, you're you're doing a good job. Um, but I'm looking at the smoothness of it, the smoothness around the front, around the finish. If it does, if it does a bit of ziggle zaggle at, at either end, I know that I haven't quite picked the front up. So I'm just looking at the smoothness of it. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit front ended or back ended. I'm looking for the smoothness of it because that's about the connection and bits and pieces. Um, what's I always found to be difficult because when you when you jump one split in on the row machine, it can stay, for example, say at two minutes easily, two minute, two minute, oh, try one, oh, 159, two minutes. Watts, every single stroke is different. You know, it could be 220, 226, 218, 229, 220, 221, 224. To 18, and I'm like, oh, and it does my head in. And so, hence why I don't really use, used to use watts for testing, okay, because obviously watts are a, a measurement of power. But training, it's always for me being splits and and uh, and force curve. Uh, question Watching World Rowing yesterday, means 50 to 59, some of their row was less than ideal, um, but they were still quite fast. Please discuss. Um, fitness. Fitness will get you 90% of the way. Okay, if you're fit, you can just fucking hold on this machine. Okay, it doesn't matter about technique. And you'll get through six and a half, seven minutes of, of pain. It's not hard. It's fitness, right? It's doing workouts like this and just and being able to get up to rate and the ability to hold yourself under pressure for periods of time, which is what we do when we train. Um, yeah, the technique, a lot of people are doing it by, and, and indoor rowing is a very, very classical, do it by yourself. There's not a lot of uh, coaches out there, not a lot of one-on-one -on -one coaching. And so like we can, we can do a lot of stuff here and we can talk about a lot of shit, <clears throat> but unless you've got someone there going, hey, just you need to hold that body a little bit further forward because you're just doing this straight off the catch, or you're just like, you know, coming into the finish, 
you know, it's, it's a very, very difficult one to do. But majority, the first and foremost thing that we need to be able to do is get our fitness right, learn how to get some rating and learn to perform under pressure, which is doing high intensity pieces. Uh, and then basically from there, the best people will have the best form. That's how it works. Okay. And so we do quite a lot. We do we do more fitness stuff here than I would well, we do a lot of technique, but in terms for you and your approach to it, I'm helping you get fit. I'm helping you give workouts so you can do as many as you can every day, every second day. And you'll get fit. You'll and if you get a good mix and you get a good range, you know, if you were to do six sessions a week, we want two of them to be you know, low, steady, good intensity, like good good push at 20 to 24. Then we want two of them to be similar to this. And then we want one to two of them to be like, right, we're going to do some pieces that are going to be fast. Okay, and that's sort of the breakdown of what you're trying to do. And that's how you'll be able to get, um, get that speed to actually be able to go fast. Uh, Edward, thanks, Eric. Abby, thank you. Uh, Michael's back. Oh, Michael, yeah, there he is. Um, no, Chris was the one that's doing it later. Um, right, good community team. Um, good high fives to everybody that's done it. That's what we want to see. Um, really, really good, excellent workout today, team. Um, we'll be doing a little bit. I'll be tidying up some cables, getting the frame right in the in the next week. Um, the old LEDs come down a little bit there. You can't see it. Don't worry about that. Um, but, yeah, really, really good sessions. Um, we're back. I think we've got a good, um, this one had to be a little bit earlier because it's public holiday. I've got to go get some stuff done with my boy. Uh, school starts tomorrow. New beauty. Uh, public holidays are pretty much finished. Well, sorry, school holidays in New Zealand, pretty much finished now. We're back to the grind. Um, and, yeah, so uh, I think our structure for the next couple of months, I think February, March, um, we're pretty much back to 8.35, 5 a.m. Uh, well, that's New Zealand time. Um, for whatever the, the, the earlier, later sessions that you guys are, are accustomed to, um, we will be back to those uh, for the next sort of eight to ten weeks, I think. Um, I don't think I have to make any pre-records in between, but uh, I'm thinking of doing a little bit more pre-records. Uh, we might start doing a little bit more just technical videos that might be five, ten minutes long on just just to think about certain parts of the stroke, you know, get some understanding for people and just give some tips so that you could sit, you could watch it and then go and do it and try it, okay? Um, I think that's, uh, we, we want to create a little bit more content in that fashion, okay? So, thanks team. I'm signing out. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to get the mop. I've actually got an electric mop here. It's going to be pretty good to use. Um, and, yeah, we'll um, have a good week, good rest of your weekend. Um, we'll see you guys back here next week. Stay safe. And from me and the Sensei team, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, and we will see you guys later. All right. Here we go. Peace out. See you later, guys.